नमस्ते माय डियर फ्रेंड्स प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी लीव्स फॉर हिस्टोरिक विजिट टू यूक्रेन व्हाट टू लुक फॉरवर्ड टू प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी लेफ्ट फॉर यूक्रेन आफ्टर कंक्लूडिंग हिज टू डे पोलैंड विजिट ही विल बी द फर्स्ट इंडियन प्राइम मिनिस्टर टू विजिट यूक्रेन आफ्टर द एस्टेब्लिशमेंट ऑफ डिप्लोमेटिक टाइज बिटवीन द टू नेशंस प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी ऑन थर्सडे एम्बार्क डॉन हिज मेडन विजिट टू यूक्रेन द पी एम हैज सेड दैट ही विल शेयर प्रोस्पेक्ट इज विद यूक्रेनियन प्रेजिडेंट वोलोडीमर जेलेंसकी ऑन ए पीसफुल रेजोल्यूशन ऑफ द कंट्रीज ऑन गोइंग कंफ्लिक्ट विद रशिया ऑन वेडनिस डे प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी कंक्लूडिड हिज टू डे विजिट टू पोलैंड बिफोर लिविंग फॉर यूक्रेन He will become the first Indian Prime Minister to visit Ukraine after the establishment of diplomatic ties between the two nations. Prime Minister Modi's visit comes at a time when the West has criticized India's close ties with the Russia, despite a shadow ban on Moscow for its invasion of Ukraine. Here is the main headlines. Before number one, before he embarked on his two day nation with two nation visit prime minister modi referred to the conflict in ukraine said as a friend and partner india hopes for an early return of peace and stability in the region i look forward to the opportunity to build upon earlier conversations with president zelensky for strengthening bilateral cooperation and share perspectives on peaceful resolution of the ongoing ukraine conflict he said second according to the ministry of external affairs the prime minister's engagements in kyiv will touch a range of aspects of bilateral ties including political trade economic investments education cultural people to people exchanges humanitarian assistance and other lasting peace can only be achieved through options that are acceptable to both parties and it can only be a negotiated settlement said tanmay lal secretary west in the mea it is a zeros some gain 3 prime minister modi's visit to ukraine comes nearly 6 weeks after his high profile trip to moscow during which he held extensive talks with russian president <coughs> Vladimir Putin on ending the ongoing conflict the visit and his bon homi with Russian president Vladimir Putin was criticized by the west calling on the indian prime minister to condemn moscow's aggression in ukraine fourth ukraine was not too happy with the visit either they criticized him for meeting President Putin in Moscow on the same day a Russia strike hit a children's hospital in Kyiv killing dozen 5 in June this year Prime Minister Modi met Ukrainian President Zelensky on the sidelines of the G7 summit in Italy during the meeting Prime Minister Modi emphasized that India would continue to do everything within its means to support a peaceful solution to the Ukrainian conflict and that the way to peace is through dialogue and diplomacy six according to sakand ranjan tail former indian ambassador to russia thinks modi will likely reassure zelensky that india has not taken his previous criticism to heart he modi is likely to convey the message that india is ready to walk the path of friendship and cooperation with the people of ukraine he told india tv Seven. India has maintained a neutral stance on the Ukraine war despite having historically friendly ties with Russia. After the war broke out, India ensured it maintained friendly ties with both nations. Eight. This included continuing trade with Russia despite the Western sanctions on Moscow. The trade not only helped the Russian economy stay afloat but was also beneficial for New Delhi as they imported crude oil at a heavy discount 9 on the ukrainian front india extended its help by providing essential medicines and support 10 prime minister modi will be in queue for around 7 hours on august 23 the prime minister 
is said to have one on one as well as delegation level talks with zelensky thank you for watching this wonderful video namaskar my dear friend thank you the prime minister of india narendra modi will be over here after a couple of hours i believe he's already started his journey from poland to kiev it's an important visit of the prime minister the reason i'm standing where i am now and bringing you these reports is because every single flag behind me marks the loss of a ukrainian soldier in combat and i'm going to pan my camera to give you an idea of the extent of the loss everywhere that you can see in maidan square you can see the ukrainian flags and there are so many marking the loss of lives tens of thousands of people have been lost in this conflict और जब बुद्ध की बात आती है तो जो युद्ध नहीं शांति पर विश्वास करती है और इसलिए भारत इस रीजन में भी स्थायी शांति का एक बड़ा पैरोकार है भारत का मत एकदम साफ है very important thing but we understand also that one visit cannot solve uh, all the you know issues and i would like to mention about the issue of uh, political prisoners and civilian hostages that are held by russia and it would be great and it would be a great contribution if maybe india could play a role in helping ukraine to release uh, these people this is under the fourth again point of the president zelensky peace formula and even this small intervention Uh, at the uh, Akhilendra Bahadur uh, Mal, who is actually in the Sumi region uh, of this country, that's to the north. In fact, it's a little to the north of Sumi that the incursions into the Kursk region have taken place. What kind of ideas he has? Uh, Ukraine. And let us see what finally had, uh, emerges tomorrow if there is a joint statement. But yeah. Ambassador, I'm interrupting you now because we've got a very special interview coming up uh, with Rajiv Gupta. He is. in fact the head in our favor otherwise you know this will be a very very bad message to all investors not only from india but from the world wide yeah investment you see sanctions if you implement in a wrong way it gives a wrong message it's a very dangerous tool we've seen um the indian community over here by which i mean students of course leave on mass a couple of years back you helped out in that process There's a small Indian community in Kiev as well, right? Uh, did they all stay behind, um, or have they all gone back? Uh, I think maybe up to ten families left behind it, and out and and how many families? 